Hello busy bees, be busy in art crafts. This is Vicki, Retro Queen Bee. I am making a video on how to use a yellowpage.com phone book that came to my house about a year ago and I saved it. Using the pages in the phone book to create collage pieces but this is where you can put scraps from your projects this idea it just clicked with me when I saw Bonnie and Clive have a, a video on what she does with this phone book she keeps it by her desk and then she puts all her scraps in it after a project. And so therefore, you know, your page is ready to use when you do journaling again. Like if you wanted to make pockets cards also I decided to start with the master board so I am kind of fitting the pieces together a little bit more than I would although I'm not thinking that much but putting a little more effort into thought so that I can just use it as a master board and on my master boards I add sewing I add uh, paint just so and I think this is going to be strong enough to take that yeah strong enough so I'm gluing the pieces of scraps that I had left over from my last project. I use a card, uh, I think that's a Nordstrom card, <laughs> old one that I use to help solidify the glue onto the page. So on this piece here, I was covering the star. And so I thought, oh, I don't want to cover the star. So I pulled it up and then it was kind of big for the page. So I decided to take it off and try it again. Line it up a little better. And so now I have the star peeking out and I Added it down, checking to see what the paper felt like after gluing. And the foam page paper was fine. Now later on, I end up covering those stars any old way. <laughs> because I liked the piece of scrap paper better than the stars. And when I do a little piece section that, you know, sticking out, you gotta cover it up. I usually just cut, fold, kind of fold and cut to my best ability to the size of what's needed.
And so this is, this is the piece of paper I end up covering the stars with anyway, because I like the way that it looks. And so I'll have a little bit of star peeking out at the end. Can you believe it? All that fuss with that upper piece of paper. <laughs> That's why they tell you not to think too much about these things. <laughs> and I think I'm thinking too much. And plus, this is the first time I'm doing it. Um, and so when I do a new project or something new, I'm a little bit slower at it. And I am thinking, okay, I, I need, I'm thinking more than I need to. with scraps. Because somehow they all turn out. Every, every master board I made, anytime I just slap the scraps down for backgrounds, or I decorate th with them on a card or a pocket, I really don't think very much about them at all and so um and usually the colors i use they kind of all blend anyway together i am a more colorful person it's really hard for me to go just neutral maybe someday i will try it <laughs> But I get into neutral and then I go, oh, I got to add a little bit of color here and there. Now, Penny, she's really good at doing neutrals. And so that's what her scrapbook page is going to be on. So I would encourage you to watch her video as well. I think Penny is from Australia, but she's um, she doesn't use digitals at all, and so she really knows. Um, and she's been around a while. But she really knows how to use old pages and use magazines and books, pictures, and have them be your, you know, center of your decor. She's, she's got a lot of good ideas. Okay, so I'm done and I'm checking out the page. So I decided to do two pages of collage while you guys are watching. If, if you don't want to watch me collage on the second page, you can skip this and go to, um, you know, the end of the video and watch a few segments there. And again, I am using lots of old paper here. I decided to take apart my books. And I had like 10 books that I had bought. And I loved the paper. And I thought I'm going to use them for my journals and make things with them. And of course, after 10 books, you know, I have them stacked. <laughs> it's like, Vicki, what are you going to do with these now that you have them? And so I decided I would just take them apart, all the pages. And then the pages that didn't, weren't together as two, I would um, keep in a bin and just paint over them and... Uh, use them as collage and whatever 
And so this particular red paper here uh, on the old book is from a brayer. So when we do our jelly plates and then we have the brayer, then you know that you don't want to waste paint. And so then you bray your old pages from a book. So I was kind of glad that I had taken them apart and that I had many singles as well. It was just easier in the bucket and I divided them and put them into uh, tubs, smaller tubs, and I have easy access to them. So uh, I'm going to be using old papers more now in my junk journals than ever before because I have a lot of them. I had 10 books. <laughs> 10 books. Can you believe that? You know, you get, you go to the thrift shop or, you know, Ricky, um, she also in my Patreon group, she has book sales and her books are like six dollars eight dollars sometimes 10 or 12 if they're like really really good books but um and she's a uh, junk journal crafter and she just knows her books so they're not very expensive and i get a discount being in her patreon group so anyway i ended up collecting <laughs> 10 books and so I just took a couple days and just broke them down and they're so much easier to use now and I, I have them in front of me and I know that I'm going to use them that particular um, I had to cut that up because I made a boo-boo. I don't know if you guys make boo-boos, but I made a boo-boo and the stencil didn't come out at all. And I used a, a crystallizing paste to try to make a flower, like it was a distressed crackle paste on top of black gesso. It, it just didn't turn out. And so I didn't even like the stencil that much. So I said, oh, I'm just going to tear this up and put it in my scrap bin. And here it is going on my phone book page, my new phone book scrap holder. Gosh, I was so excited. And then to see Penny, she did the same thing today. We didn't talk to each other either. <laughs> we did the same thing today. I'm just so it's amazing. So I have a lot of texture on top of this page. And I also had some anchors that were created by using a texture paste that I didn't like the way they came out and so I cut them off the main page but I had several strips of them and I thought oh I don't want them to go to waste <laughs> so there they are in my scrap glue book Sometimes you have to put extra glue around the corners. I, this is old paper too, it absorbs the glue. It's thirsty, the paper's thirsty when it gets old.
I like to glue on long strips. This particular strip came from a, a book that uh, was World War II. It was a Jewish book, but it was falling apart, pages missing. And so I thought, well, I'm, I like the Hebrew text. And so I would just use it in my scrapbooking give it a second life. And here I'm being a little picky and I end up taking it off and I tear the page of the phone book. And so I'm starting to be a little more delicate. <laughs> I can kind of be rough sometimes. And I thought to myself, I can reinforce the page. So I tried, I thought, no, that doesn't work. I need a thicker page to reinforce the page. And so that's where I found this old book piece. And I put it on and then I think, hmm, let's make it go down further and down further to the little tip is almost covered to the, there we go. <laughs> I finally figure it out. And when I'm gluing in this book, I do use a credit card to help push down the um, pieces. Now see, I'm checking here to see the damage that I did. And then I thought, oh, why don't I just add in second page to the first page? Why not? They're thin. And that's how we reinforced anyway, right? In books. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just do that. Yeah, the page is so thin, you can't even tell the difference from the first page to the second page. And it worked. Just pushing the pages together to glue well. So I decided then I would finish up on my own. So this is the first page, the second page, and the third page. I finally found room for that strip, the fourth page, and then a little bit left over, I put on the fifth page. And I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Happy day.